Hi, I'm here with my dad, my dad Tom, and he's going to show me how he sharpens and gets a really nice edge on my axe scraper, which he made. So what do you do, dad? Okay, greetings. Um, well, the first thing I'm going to do is get my file. This is a, a mill bastard file. Um, and the only reason we're using this one is because it's the, the closest file that we could find um, to replace an axe file. They did not have axe files at the store, so we got this instead. But we start with a good axe file, um, a new one ideally if you can, um, or one in good shape. And then you get the tool that you're sharpening and find somewhere to secure your the piece you're going to going to sharpen. Now here I'm just find it, I found a spot outside where I think this will work. Um, then I'll I'll try to go down. A lot of it is visual, and I'm not even I don't have my glasses on, but I can still see. I try to go, when I make a stroke, I try to stroke the whole, unless I'm working on a particular, like a chip or something. If I'm just sharpening the whole edge, I'll try to make one stroke with the ax file um, to cover the length of the, of the blade, mm -hmm. of the surface to cut. Um, now it will, I, I, you, see, you notice I'm wearing my gloves, it's not only because it's cold out, um, but also to protect my hand. Yeah, I've done that before, gouged it's, my thumb while oh, sharpening this, yeah. Yep, it's easy to do. Mm -hmm. And and you find you, you get a rhythm and you get kind of used to doing it, and and sometimes we go and can do too much. Mm -hmm. um, or that's when we, if we get carried away, that's when we, we can get careless. and. And they cut ourselves. So I, so I've taken some strokes on one side, and then I'll, I'll try to take the same number of strokes on this side. Um, now, typically, if I'm working on a, a blade and and uh, want to want to sharpen it, it's, it's just been dulled from from use. I'll I'll um, I'll start with like five or ten strokes. I'll go mm -hmm. um, say ten strokes on one side, and I'll flip it over, and I'll do ten there. And I'll flip it back, and I'll do nine, and okay. then eight, and oh, cool. so I'll progressively less. Mm -hmm. um, but working on each side, each time I take a stroke like this, I remove steel from this side. But at the same time, I, I end up with a little bit of, um, well, it's it's iron the waste, it's a, curl, a little bit right? of waste material that kind of rolled over onto the other side. Yep. Okay. And that's why I need to, to try to attempt to do each, each side equally Evenly. to remove that. That burr, cool. if you will. So, um, basically, sharpen like that. Turn it over. And, and take some strokes again. And trying to secure my piece. So, this is my first side again. Now, I can see, even without my glasses. I can see the progress I'm making on that edge. You get the light right, and you you watch what you're doing. You can actually see the the progress of your of your work with each stroke mm -hmm. on the edge of the on the face of the of the blade. Now I haven't tried this, mate. You you know how sharp this was before. Okay? Mm -hmm. so, um, maybe I'll work it down a little bit, and then you can try it. I'm just, I mean, the, the, this looked fairly sharp to begin with, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been, I think I've been doing a decent job of, of keeping it. Of maintaining it, yeah. 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 Now, sometimes you can jump down like a little five, I could go down to three, and then do three on both sides, maybe four. Um, ideally, you get, you get a handle on your file. Uh, the axe file that I mentioned earlier has got a bit of a handle on it. Um, mm -hmm. It's made for use freehand. Um, a file like this with a tang, um, they're made for uh, some kind of a handle. Okay. And it's, it's certainly much easier. Um, I would prefer to have a handle with this, but, mm -hmm. um, but you can still do it. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, we got you done. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Much better. Cool. Isn't that awesome? Um, 
So I've just taken a stab at using the technique that my dad went through and I'm thinking what I'm going to do as I am working on a hide like this. Um, maybe before I get started working on it, I'll do, I'll start from 10 and go down. Um, and then in between when I need to sharpen, I'll do five and count down from there. And that's what I just did here. It's, I feel like it's got a nice edge on it. <laughs> 